Welcome to the Dr. Von Periscope, and we're going to show you a trigger finger injection. So right now you see our patient's hand. Can you demonstrate what your fingers do so they can see how they, they don't curve all the way? Now, can you get this finger to curve all the way down if you really, really pushed it hard? No, that's it. If, if I try to push it with my hand, then it catches, and then you have to open it, and it pops. It gets stuck? It gets stuck. But even pushing it, I, it won't it won't go any further than that won't go any further than that and then this finger does it also get stuck it doesn't get stuck but it doesn't want to close as much okay it, I mean it doesn't pop but it's also got a problem where it doesn't want to close okay and then opening it does it ever get stuck and kind of suddenly open no this one does just that one this okay. one it will get if I push it down too far it will get stuck it will not open and then you have to go like this and it pops. And that's the classic trigger finger that gets stuck and you have to force it and then you have a painful pop. Yes. And, and can you point to exactly where you feel the pop when it happens? Well, it's little, It's like, it's really right in here. It seems to be like there, but when you push here, there's also, okay. it's tender. But when it pops, the most pain is right in this joint here okay. to pop it back open again. And I see we have a friend named Lauren who's watching. She suffers from the, something very similar. So what's happening is that there is a, a system of pulleys along the tendon that keep it from bowing out when you, when you bend your finger. See, if, if there weren't these tendons right in here, you'd have a, a, a tendon going across. I'm sorry, the pulleys weren't there. You'd have the tendon going all the way across from here to here and not following the contour of the finger. So these pulleys hold the tendon there that goes all the way from actually up in the forearm, well the muscle does, and then it turns tendon is somewhere in this area here and then comes all the way up. This is a very long muscle and the reason you can tell that that's a muscle is that when you wiggle your fingers you can feel or see movement of the muscles in the forearm. And Go ahead and demonstrate that right now. Uh, no, not the wrist, just the fingers like that. Oh. Okay, so you can see movement. Go ahead and go back and forth. You can see the forearm is moving because the muscles there are the ones that operate the tendons that come up here. But this tendon that comes through here is getting stuck because there's some swelling in the tendon. And it gets stuck as it comes up to it and then you pop it through when you force the stretching of it. So um, now do you have it also on this hand here? Um, yeah, it's not as severe, but it's amazingly the same two fingers. Yeah, yeah. Um, and as you can see, they won't, they won't close all the way. These are not popping yet. They don't get stuck, but you can't, I can't close them any more than that. Okay. And we'll just do one hand for the first treatment. I'm going to step out and see Dr. Gwainvon, who's drawing up the medicine, and then we'll come back and do the procedure. Okay. Thank so, you. oh yes. So we're going to go see. Uh, 25. Oh. Did you drop your medicine? No. Uh, well, did I drop it or did I draw up? Draw it? up. There's two words. Draw. I did. There's another doctor that left an empty bottle, so it took me a while. Oh, so you, that doctor who left the empty bottle, you had to. We actually have somebody watching who has the same symptoms. Oh, uh, yeah. Lauren, who sometimes joins us. Yeah. And then so uh, our treatment. friend Amanda is at work at, at the urgent care. I'm trying to understand how she can be watching Periscope while she's oh, working. Okay. Just kind of wet or, or cold, but we have a. Uh, what do you want? Uh, uh, chucks? Yeah. I'll go just to make them. And then I need some gloves. Okay. I will go to a room and get a chucks for us. Chucks is uh, a term for what's well, essentially a diaper. I'll show you what one is here. It's just a, kind of a plastic paper, somewhat absorbent uh, cotton like material inside. It's good for keeping moisture. Okay, she says it's a slow day at the urgent care. That's why she's able to watch us. Now, some of you may recognize. I'm curious to see the treatment. I need the Infix too. That was Laura, uh, Lauren. Okay, so you see the good old Evar's ethyl chloride, which. Uh, it's kind of a freezing spray. That's because I'm a nice doctor. I <laughs> numb you up before I... Okay. And, and Amanda thinks that this is continuing education. Oh, yeah. I guess she thinks we're going to give her credit. <laughs>
All right, so I've got everything in here. What you want to do is just lay that on the table here. And we're going to find the area where we want to inject with this finger. And the A1 pulley is right at the base of the finger here. Now, where are you? Most tender here. Right about there. Right about there. And our viewers can't see the face she's making. She grimaces when you touch it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So I'm just going to do a dry brand here that just tells me where I'm going to place my needle. And clean it off with some alcohol. I'll do that three times. Isopropyl alcohol, not ethanol. That's right, not ethanol. Because we have lots of questions about it isn't, ethanol. It isn't brandy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the old old fashioned way to do it. Here, have a swig of this. Lauren's asking if this will bring her instant relief. It will. So there's there's two medicines in this injection. Uh, one of those is a numbing medication, lidocaine. Um, and that acts instantly, reaches maximum effect about 15 minutes, um, wears off in about six hours. So you walk out of here feeling pretty good, but that's going to wear off in about six hours. So don't overdo it. And then the, the steroids, the other medication we talked about this, that steroid usually doesn't kick in for 24 to 48 hours. So but you said I can golf tomorrow. You can golf tomorrow. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is numb you up with this topical cold stuff called ethyl chloride. That's just cold. You'll feel that. That's cold. That's just numbing the skin. Not, I'm very... Uh, I use a lot of this, so you don't want to feel that needle. I'm going to go in at like 25 degree angle right at the top, a little poke. You okay? And then we feel, you kind of feel a little resistance right when you get to the uh, tendon and the medicine. You kind of get right up under the tendon. Yep, but you're going nice and easy, which you see it's doing. Sorry, you'll feel a little bit of... Ah, it popped. Just keep breathing. It popped on its own. All done. Okay. So, what, so the question <laughs> is, what are you going to tell your brother? How was that injection? Well, I'm hoping he can watch this video. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put this on YouTube have him so, get that a... he can, so his brother can see it. It's over there. Yeah, because amazingly, he has the same problem yeah. on the same two fingers. On the same fingers. On both hands. <laughs> so. But I'm doing it first as the guinea pig. He's making you do it. <laughs> the way he's an avid golfer, he doesn't want it to ruin his golf That's game. That's right. <laughs> we, don't want, we don't want this to ruin your golf game. I think this will improve your golf game. So you won't have any more. Maybe I can beat him then. <laughs> <laughs> This will, if only I could have that guarantee, huh? This will definitely be. Oh, you would have a pile of golf. <laughs> <right there. laughs> uh, one of our viewers is asking, what are some causes first started during pregnancy? Oh, yeah. Pregnancy, huh? Um, overuse is probably the biggest one, but pregnancy can do some weird things to tendons. Um, it can kind of stretch them out. You're all set. Okay. You're start to move so it just a little. We, we want to see how this goes before we you know, put um, you through it again. Yeah. Yep, that's what I was going Yeah, it doesn't, uh, the stove doesn't want to shut. So yeah, it will, that'll, that'll take, take a little time. time. So, so the the, um, the numbing stuff in there, all it does is numb. It doesn't decrease any of that swelling. The steroid is what actually decreases the swelling. So that's going to kick in at about 24 to 48 hours. So, so you'll find that over the next day or two, you'll find that range of motion will start to increase. You'll be able to make a better fist. But your pain should be better now. How do you feel what the pain is? I don't feel anything right now. Mm -hmm. so, Nothing. So, so the fact that you don't feel anything means that we did get that in the right place and that you're going to have some more long-term benefits from this. So, okay. All and right. then I'll just be able to close my finger in about 24 hours. 24 hours, 48 hours, yeah. Okay. All right. Sometimes a little bit longer. but Yeah, sometimes. But usually a couple it, days. It, yeah. We'll have a tournament on Monday, so by oh, Monday. Oh, by, by then you should. <laughs> yeah, by Monday it should be. What's that, three, four, three days? If it's not totally resolved, it will be just, it will be better. Certainly All right. And if my golf score is not better, is there a, <laughs> Just, is there a refund? <laughs> is there a refund if That's my right. golf score is not better? Come, come after him with Guaranteed the club Guaranteed to decrease your handicap. 
Okay, so I'm going to sign off here. If you haven't already followed, swipe right and follow and give us lots of hearts. And if you want to see this after it's on YouTube, it'll be on the Auburn Medical Group YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining us. Until next time, this is Dr. Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.